secret. The NATO alliance is central uh, to the American security and man maintaining peace and stability around the world. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, as uh, Mr. Panetta has pointed out, is probably the most successful military uh, and political alliance uh, the world has seen. Seven decades where we've had no war across the European plain, uh, where so much carnage occurred historically. That an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Now, I do believe NATO has continued to build on the Cold War alliance and transform itself into an alliance to defend democracy in the 21st century. From Bosnia and Kosovo to Afghanistan and Libya, the NATO alliance has been a force multiplier uh, for the United States as we lead the free world in securing our safety and defense of freedom. Today, however, NATO is under threat, both from a surge in Russia without and detractors within. It costs money to move furniture. It costs money. This bill, which we will consider today on suspension, and I know will pass, uh, I am hopeful that it will pass, uh, with a bipartisan vote, and I think it will pass with a bipartisan vote. This bill makes it clear that the United States Congress still believes that the NATO uh, mission and will prevent any short-sighted efforts to undermine NATO or unilaterally withdraw our country. Now, all of us up here agree that we can continue to pressure our NATO allies to pay their self-stated goal of 2% of their GDP to the alliance. But that doesn't mean that we want to get out of NATO. In fact, that would be a historic mistake. Because what we have to realize is that NATO is not just a transactional relationship. Our sole focus can't just be on who pays what and who gets what. Being a member of NATO is not like being a member of a country club. Our, our number one job is to open the government. We, and, and that is a, it's a bread and butter issue for folks in all of our districts, it's safe to say. But it's also a national security issue. And since we're talking about national security here, I, I think... Um, it's fair to say that in addition to wanting us to leave NATO, uh, Russia would love to see the United States government shut down for as long as possible. And so I think these two issues are thematically linked in, in that way. Um, I think, you know, there is some urgency in doing this right now. I mean, I'd love to wait until the shutdown is over before getting to issues of foreign policy and national security, but we don't have that luxury. As I mentioned, the NATO summit is coming up. There are all kinds of signals being sent around the world that we feel it's important for the United States Congress to counter when they run counter to our interests. And so, 